Hey, I'm Ben, and welcome to episode 37 of JLC TV. This channel follows an established business on its way to making a hundred million pounds. From delivery to warehouse and sales you won't believe, you'll see it all here at JLC TV. So, day is Tuesday the 2nd of April. I haven't had much sleep last night. I had like uh, three hours, 45 I think. I had two hours, and I got up, had water, I'm fasting again today. Yeah, here I am. My plan is to get my list done and then have an early day. So first things first, how much did we do in March? We did 946,000 pounds in the UK. Now I know we had people predicting 1.3, we didn't do it, but the op that was in there to give us that like number didn't come in. Hopefully, and Beak's got some information on that, we'll hear about that shortly, will come in this month, or at least it's looking a lot more promising than it was last week. And we did 94,000 in euros. So. 1 million and 40k so about 260k less than we predicted however we did less in europe than we thought we did it was still a decent month but we did less we're going to do more this month and also we did less in the uk both of those places worth noting have been still getting high high quotes and high order volumes we're expecting the speed of march to go straight into april so yeah fingers crossed it's mega so what does my day look like today on this first working day of the month first things first company-wide sales meeting so like you guys know the guys who follow the channel will know that sometimes they'll take a local sales meeting here and then a sales meeting in the uk it's tuesday morning full of meetings so we're doing company-wide we're going to keep it brief each person just take their opportunity for the week obviously opportunity for the week is the opportunity they think is going to come in so then other people can get inspiration like, oh maybe i should quote that maybe i should say about this 9 a.m uk time 10 o'clock here breakfast hasn't been won so no one's eating today because the close of the month was about 10 grand less than where it needed to be for breakfast. And then after all that's done, we have the quarterly board meeting. Now the quarterly board meeting is when the directors of JLC get together. JLC UK this is, this is for JLC UK. It's me, Ken, Beak, David, and our lawyer, Charles. You also have Luke comes in to talk about the operation for about half an hour, but really what it is is an update on cash, business performance. Is the business going into a place where it's Profiting, is it going to a place where we need to be concerned? Is it dangerous? So really it's like a quarterly update where all the directors get together to kind of take accountability to where the results are. That's today. Anyway, it's been a very, very good quarter. Obviously this is to conclude January, February, March. January, February, March were monsters. March was insane. One of our biggest months in recent history. And February was like one of the big Februarys we've ever had. We never had Februarys like that. And January, so yeah, a very, very good meeting. It's gonna be catching up with everyone to report good results. Uh, Beeksy. Yes. What is the latest with Jack's a big deal? We couldn't get the product that they requested. We looked into perhaps making a mold for that. However, they needed some urgent. So they have gone ahead and got some, but it looks like the ones that they've got also doesn't do what they need because I don't think it's actually out there. So nice. we could win the whole lot. So what happened with this deal is our customer kept putting like, we needed to have this function. We said, we can't get it with that function. And then they said they had found it and it's later come to fruition now that they hadn't and this isn't available on the market like we weren't being crazy we really can we can really source anything so mm -hmm. if we didn't find it it wasn't there and uh, it seems now that the customer could be interested in coming back to us it just goes to show as well like not being desperate not trying to be like over promise we couldn't do it so we just put our hands up and said we couldn't and now it's coming back to us so yeah that happens quite a lot and so we never get too stressed if something's losing because if we can't make it happen it might not even be able to happen. And that seems like that's what's happened now. Yeah. So B, what's the plan for the week? I'm gonna catch up with the UK and find out, I'm closing off end of month today with Arlene and Mandy. And then I'm gonna catch up with all the sales guys in the UK and see what they've got ready for April. Nice, nice. And guys, what end of month is? So I just told you that our numbers, those numbers are the numbers of everything that was in the tank when the month closed. We can't invoice a customer unless the goods have been sent. So what Beak does is she's tallying up like what's been sent and what doesn't, and the stuff that doesn't get sent goes into April. Now, typically of that like 1 million and 40, it's not gonna be much, it's gonna be like 40 grand or something. The point of what the actual numbers that are documented on the business is only the numbers that get shipped. We can't charge unless it's been shipped. Because mm -hmm. at the moment, those numbers, yeah, like I said, they're just how much did we have in our order system when the month closed. But there's like a little bit that isn't gonna go out. But yeah, how much are you anticipating? Does it go out, you see? Doesn't go out, I think about turnover about 55k about 55k yeah nice. in the uk and then europe probably only like 8k and as you guys will see it's pretty much short weather now so Yay. yeah it's good we go back to the uk tomorrow so the uk we drive back on the wednesday the 5th 
Wednesday the 3rd tomorrow. And then we've got Scott Price coming in to price up our new bathrooms in the UK. Mm. And then we will be looking to get our very own Ed Sheeran in to, oh, no. to cut the ribbon. Right. Yeah, forget yeah. about him. And then my plan is to come back here like 10th or the 11th next month, next week. So yeah, a lot going on. It's going to be good. We'll record tomorrow, us coming back on the in the car and the Euro Tunnel. So make sure you guys subscribe and check that out. For the next part, we can't record. Obviously, the sales meeting will be recorded, but the board meeting and that, I will check back in and let you know, let you guys know how it went. Now, let's right, get the perfect. sales meeting underway. Joel, why don't you start us off? How did you find uh, last week? Yeah, if you give us a brief overview on how you found last week. Also, um, like what the quotes have been like and your one up for the week. Cool. So I would say last week felt slightly quieter than the rest of the month. But that being said, I think the rest of the month was unbelievably busy uh, in terms of like the quotes I had in. Yeah, I'm hoping that comes to fruition this month uh, because Is I got more off. Quieter because of the, the school holidays, you reckon? Or do you reckon it was uh, down to? Uh, I think there's a good chance that was what it was down to. Also, I, yeah, I mean... In ter I actually had quite a lot of ops get over the line towards the end of the month, which was good. Um, but the quotes definitely dropped off slightly, which I think, yeah, it's probably down to the holidays, I reckon. When but yeah, very, back? very busy. Are they still off this week as well? I think they're back now, um, as far as I'm aware. I think some private schools still carry on for like another week. But yeah, I think predominantly most people are back. One op that I'm, ho I'm, I'm kind of waiting on that um, I got some feedback on. I got 600... Um, 10.2 cases and stylus they like the rhino option at the moment but it looks like that's pretty likely to come in so it's quite a nice op should should hopefully right. be getting that one over shortly perfect what you reckon that's today do you not today but this week i'm hoping they they yeah that they think it's a nice nice option so yeah fingers crossed that's the one that i'm yeah i'm banking on all right sick nice one brother look forward to seeing how it Thanks, goes man. jack how are we looking uh last week yeah same as uh joel it was um it slowed down a little bit for me a lot of things looking to close for april now that was kind of last week for me last week was just sort of seeing what i could get for april and then squaring away any ops that were coming in end of march so i need to get an understanding of what i'm expecting this week i am from the top of my head i'd say 125 a nine wolverine cases should, it, should expect that that i sent that sample on friday they placed an order for all the rest they just wanted the cases so we've already had the order for the the cables and the plug they didn't put the cases through just because they need to sample it so they're sampling it today should get an order today, providing that they like it. I did actually send them a Wolverine last week, but it was for a different size. So they asked for a different size, which they like. So I'm pretty confident that one's coming in. That should just be placed today. Just good, li good little one to start, start, yeah, off the, start off the month. That's today, you reckon, yeah? All right, perfect. Nice one, brother. Look forward to seeing it come in. Just a quick yeah. one as well. Um, It's half term this week. Thanks, yeah, I think it finishes on the 12th, I think. All right, Ace. Hopefully then we are busy just with the, the people who want to get their orders in for April now. But also, guys, it's worth noting that obviously a lot of the business that we had in March is because of the budget dump. The budget renewal doesn't actually happen until next week. It happens on the 5th, doesn't it, I believe, which is the back end of this week. Combined with the fact that the kids are on holiday, don't... We're obviously, we're, we're thinking positive, but don't be uh, worried if it's not busy today, tomorrow, because we're a bit of a funny part. This isn't just the start of a normal month. It's the back end of the budget. So maybe we're going to get a few orders pushed through, but we might have people just freeze until the fifth or sixth. So yeah, don't sweat too much. Yeah, Josh, how are we looking? Yeah, looking good. Uh, same as everyone else. Last week was a little bit quieter. But, um, yeah, the CRM's looking. I've got loads of stuff on there that's just could drop at any time at this point. Um, so yeah, not too sure on like a specific one that's coming in today or this week. But uh, I had some good progress with last week. I got two calls set up this week with some business development managers for like the police sector nice. and i got another call the purchasing manager just to go over how we've been doing for this past month we've been working with them so um oh. yeah it'll be good continue pushing with them sick they're gonna be a big account bro just keep pushing your yeah, craft so. oh no yeah that's good all right nice brother cheers harry how are we looking yeah all good kind of the same really dropped off a bit last week but I, i've got my pipeline's got more in it than it's ever had. So it's all looking good there. Um, I'm hoping this week should have about 120 cases coming. Not sure on what they're going for yet. They've got a few options, but I'm pretty certain it should be should be coming over this week. Um, got some meetings set up with some global account managers, trying to a lot of enterprise account managers as well. So it's moving quite nicely with them. All right. Fantastic. Look forward to seeing what happens. Nice one, brother. Ricky, how are we looking? Morning, all. Yeah, so it was a, it was a, it was a busy month overall last month. Trevor, I'm going to appreciate. Did quite quite down a little bit on the tail end. There's still a, a decent amount left in the pipeline that hasn't crossed over. That may be just they, they couldn't make a decision in time or they ran out of budget. Hopefully, those opportunities will still come around when the new budgets get released. Uh, and like you said, James, that's going to be in about a week's time. It is half term. Uh, I don't 
I haven't got any confirmation or sort of coming in this week, to be fair, like last week. It's just focusing and getting everything in for the end of the month. So give me a few days and I can kind of work out where everything is and, and what the score is. All right. Nice one, brother. Look forward to hearing the update. Oh, how are we how are we looking for the office here? Yeah, good. I think we got going into April, one of the biggest pipelines we've had in, in a long time. So um, I'm pretty excited to see where, where we are. Just a few samples. It's some big, big ops as well we're working on. One of them's for 8,000 like, keyboard cases. That's like 120 grand order. It could potentially be. But yeah, we said, we're loads in the pipeline. I don't want to bore you too much. And look at the guys smashing the calls. What we got from the UK with Liv and the girls smashing the calls. So uh, Julian and Laura are on the calls as well this week hard. So yeah. Sick. All right. Great job, brother. I look forward to seeing it. Penny, what are the... Uh... Uh, what yours and ours up for the day or for the week? Um, to be honest, there's nothing I know for sure. A lot of it actually came in at the end of last month, like literally like the last day, which I wasn't expecting. So there's nothing I know for sure coming in, but got a super busy pipeline, like um, everyone said. Okay, well, we'll look forward to seeing what comes in this week. As we yeah, I'll let, I'll let you know. Nice one. Um, Nat, what's the plan for you with the guys this week? He lives actually off today and Rhiannon's off the rest of the week, but I'll plug away at some calls and Athena's also been smashing the calls with Pen, so that's good. So I'll just do that and I'm also out on Thursday with Jack. So yeah, hopefully a bit of a busy week for us. Perfect, big week ahead then. All right, so guys, obviously the what everyone said is the same and that it was quiet last week, but that ties in exactly with the fact that it was half term, so don't sweat. Just take this opportunity now to the fact that you're quieter with some people to reach out to the people that you haven't had time to get around. Just assume that it's going to get batshit crazy because it's going to be a crazy, crazy month. We just might have a little bit of a lull now. But even then, I say might because I don't think it is going to be. I think it's going to be a big week. I just think you're probably reason you not got through to many people last week and not many people you heard from. This is like the holiday half term. It's a bit like it's akin to the summer, isn't it? Easter holidays. Yeah, a lot of people can be off, but don't sweat. Use this time to just keep as much pressure on the people who are in as you can. And just have a big week, guys. We're going to smash March again. Just think of what we've done. January, huge month, way bigger than it should have been. And sometimes we've had big Januaries coupled by a <gasps> Feb, but not this quarter. We had a big Jan into big Feb, into monster March. We haven't had times like this, not like pre-COVID, not never. This is crazy. So keep our foot on the gas. April is going to do the same and better. And we're going to keep the speed. But yeah, nice one, guys. Have I left anyone out? Sweet. Over and out. Keep the group updated and smash the calls. Thanks, James. Awesome. Thanks. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Cheers. See you later. And after the sales meeting, Luke takes the ops meeting. Right. Morning, guys. I hope you all had a nice long weekend. 188 orders a day compared to our previous best of 177. As I said last week, can't follow it at the moment. Really pleased with the numbers we're producing and yeah, the quality of what we're doing. Yeah, keep it up for today, get it out of the way. And then, um, yeah, once we're hopefully cleared today, we will be going on to stock take, everybody's favorite. So we'll, we will be starting to do that towards the end of the week. Um, just starting to do that again. As you're aware, Jamie's had his operation, so it's gonna be off. We're planning for the next three weeks, but it could be less. So this is gonna have an impact on everybody else. because obviously we've got people from logistics, Amy coming in to cover DocuWare. And also you guys in the warehouse are jumping on Docura as well. So hoping it could be less, but we're planning for three weeks without Jamie. Um, and then finally, happy with the error rate at the moment. It's around the sort of 1.5% mark. We're getting better at the picking and packing signing. <coughs> Still been let down by the QC a little bit. So whoever's on QC, just make sure you are checking those things. Okay, let's, let's have a good week. Time is 10.55 here in Holland, 9.55 there in UK. In five minutes time, my board meeting starts, obviously with David, Ken, Beek, and Charles, our lawyer. He is our company secretary too, so he looks after all the governance for our company. And yeah, we work with him now for like a decade as well, which is pretty mad. These are always crazy days, especially like if there's a bank holiday. And this is rare, but the board meeting falls on a Tuesday with the Monday morning sales meetings. You know what? Like you can think like, oh, I'll just do a meeting. That's not a hard job. It actually is, you know. It's the hardest thing when it's just back-to-back -back meetings. It's so hard to concentrate because all you're doing is listen to people talk. And each person that you're listening to, you have to be listening and really trying to make sense because it's important stuff. And combined by the fact that I'm fasting, no coffee. Yeah, I'm being tested today, but it's good. It's a productive day. So it's one of those times that you feel good after the day is done, you know get a lot of important stuff done. Board meeting about to start, gonna be looking forward to hearing what everyone else's perspectives on the last quarter is. And when we've had good quarters, it's really fun sitting down and doing the board meeting because you get to see like what our collective efforts have done and you see how other people are feeling about it. Like, you know, I can feel proud and happy that the results are good, but how's other people feeling? And like, if I see that Ken's happy, David's happy, Beak's happy, Charles happy, it's just, uh, it makes you feel good, you know? All of our hard work comes to fruition and yeah. 
and look forward to seeing the updates from Luke on the operation. Super exciting and I'm sure it was a record, record week for orders sent out given that it was our record month too, so yeah, mega. Harry has so kindly volunteered himself and his phone for a JLC product test. What's what, the question what phone do you have? 11. <laughs> what case do you have on it? Mac yeah, here. <laughs> do you want to drop your phone? Not really. Would you but I will, I will do it if there's money involved. Would you do it in JLC's most pro protective case? Yeah. Yeah. What is the most protective case for him? Probably a military. How it's in the name, isn't it? How high can I drop that from without Harry getting sad? Space. What, so just knock it off the table, yeah? Well, you don't really have to knock it off the table. Check. So, phone is working. See? Not broken. Camera is a, a bit messed up, but not broken. So we have the iPhone 11 military case here. <laughs> Love it. And if it breaks, I will not be happy. Let's go. Hold your horses one sec. We're about to drop the phone, but let me take you over some of the features first. Power and volume button protection, charging port dust and dirt cover, deformation lines to distribute force evenly for drops and falls, added material at the corners for impact resistance, and a rugged and tactical design. Mate, that thing sounded so dense. Yeah, it is. Look at the size of it. Right. Drop it face down. Yeah, we'll do you face, we'll do... Face down to test the edges. Right. Oh my god. Oh, it's actually not broke! Wait, what? It's fine. Just look at that. <laughs> what the hell? Is that crack That already sounded there? like is it. That crack already there? No, that cracks the temple glass. That's the temple glass. Look at the temple glass, it's dense as well. Jesus. God. Well done, JLC. Mate, that's enough of me. That actually, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's so just so giving me my house skipper beat. That was a big fun. <laughs> and the back's all fine. Yeah, that, that, sound, that fine. sounded horrendous. Yeah. That's solid. That's a good Jeez. Case. I might actually keep that. Obviously, I'd tell Arlene. <laughs> <laughs> If you are interested in any of the products seen in any of the videos, please contact either your account manager or GLC Distribution directly at email inquiries at glcdistribution.co.uk or telephone at 01275 867 000. And if you are watching from Europe, our email would be inquiries at glcdistribution.eu or telephone at plus 31747999600. Thank you. And back with James for his overlook on how March went. Time is 20 past 12 on the first working day of April. We haven't had a big day yet. We've had like one decent order that was like, nah, it wasn't even like a red fist pump order. It was just two and a half grand from Penny. So good order, but you know what? Like the important thing to remember about this month is this month is not only have we closed up a big month, which is March, this isn't quite the beginning of a month because the tipping point is the fourth and the fifth of the, the month. So everything coming in this side is going into the budget dump. Everything going in the other side is going into the budget burn. So sometimes what you have at the start of a month like this, well, this is the only month, is even if we have a quiet few days, it's not indicative of what the month is gonna be because we're in this like obscure purgatory part of the month, if that makes sense. Luke gave us some very interesting statistics that compared quarter one, obviously I'm talking about the calendar quarter one, December, sorry, January, February, March, not our quarter one, our quarter one is September, October, November, but Q1, calendar Q1. Last year, 2023, January, February, March, we had an average orders per day of 132 orders. In this quarter, we've had an average orders of 179 orders per day, so crazy. We are up like 40%, I think that is, on day-to-day -day results, so that's mad. Finally, let's check up on the team. So that's another end of month done. Busy, busy month March. Um, I think it went really, really well. We didn't quite hit our target because of the two day holiday. And DHL let me down because it only delivered half my delivery. So should that come in, we would have absolutely smashed it out of the park. So it's a bit disappointing. Bring on April. So yeah, Arlene's hard in herself. Like the guys always want to beat the previous target. So the, the target for them was the 3,901 done in Jan. They got 3,825. So they're 76 short. But as Arlene said, there was two working days less in this month compared to Jan the previous month. So as I said before, like if you look at it of how many orders per average a day, the record was 177 for Jan and it's now 191 orders a day for, for March because of obviously the two less working days so in theory this is it has been the busiest month yeah. 
with the 20 working days and 191 a day is crazy. Yeah, I don't think Arlene can, she's too hard in the south. It's a great, great job. Oh, no, we, no, didn't, no. we only got 3,000. <laughs> yeah, we only got. That. <laughs> yeah, it was good. I'm pleased. All, all the lads worked really, really hard. Yeah, they're a good bunch. Well. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, well, yeah, absolutely deserved as well. I think we added Paul this month as well. Yeah, so yeah. even though it was like really busy, it's still been okay, wasn't it? It wasn't yeah. like, no. I, I, I banned that word as I'm well. Not, I don't like it. Like, if I ever ask Arlene how it's going, <laughs> you don't like chaos. I don't like the word chaotic. And she stopped saying now, so I'll stop saying yeah. it. <laughs> Very busy. But yeah, yeah, it was great. Great month. A little bit of a rest now, and it? it's a full-on yeah. day today. We've ended month still and had the board meetings today as well. So it's straight back in today with everything. So it's going to be yeah. a little bit of a, hopefully a bit of a breather now. Yeah. Now yeah. that's all out of the way. Well, no, stock tick. So if it continues like this, say, up until August, yeah. we will clearly need to do overtime and get people in at the weekends to do it or start earlier. So yeah. that would be the plan if we did stay this busy. I don't know. Hopefully we, we do stay this busy. Yeah. But what we're looking to do this week, even if it's like one or two people, even if it's like one person, like one person can count very first thing in the morning, we can just sort of chip away at it and get some done. And then if we need to get like a load of people doing it to smash out the big numbers near the end as we get closer or like a few months before, then we would look to do that. But yeah, for me, in the two years I've been here, we, we want to come away from everything last minute. We've never been completely last minute, yeah. have we? But yeah. we've always been like quite a bit of a rush the last yeah. couple of weekends of it. So... We just want a nice smooth throughout the whole year, just yeah, doing it. So and it's just planning. Yeah. Like we planned it really good last year, didn't we? So it's and we've learned again from last year to make it even better this year. So yeah. it's it's just proper planning and sticking to that plan. Yeah, we learn we learn more and more yeah. every year, do don't every we? Year. So yeah. yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's been not been too bad, but uh, yeah, it's been quite a steady end of the month. But we're just waiting for deliveries come in, which dragged out a little bit. Usually it here first thing in the morning, but. Yeah. They weren't here, but yeah, but yeah, we got them out, we come in, got them out quickly enough. We've had a nice little calm. Yeah, so we're just trying to get some stock, more stock out ready for today. So, so being a busy, busy, yeah. For a fluffy microphone, yeah, it has fluffy. been an uh, exciting day. Yeah. We managed to get a lot of part shipments out. We got a massive delivery, all of us tackled. Uh, now just mopping up for the end of the day, starting a new month, a new year. And I'm trying to figure out how to do this return now. Yeah, it's been all right. Been nice and busy again. Good. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> has it? No, 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 it hasn't. But you've got to, you've got to say it has, haven't you? Otherwise, it looks crap. And it's not even your fault because DHL messed up deliveries. Yeah, DHL. Come on, Sean. Sean. <laughs> Sean. You can't name and shame him like that. Nah, Sean's our boy. He's our man. It's definitely not Sean. Sean. No, Sean isn't it? Sean. You know Sean. No, no, no. But it can't Just, have been Sean. Yeah, that's Sean. What? <laughs> <laughs> been alright. Good day. Good day. Yeah, been good. No. It's been a good day. It's been fairly busy. Thought it'd be a little bit quieter, to be honest, which is good. It's been alright. First day of the month, half term, long weekend, slow. It's been alright. My day is daying for a Tuesday. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's been alright. Um, it's a bit slow. It's a bit slow. Start of the month. Uh, yeah, half term. But I guess that gives us time to like catch up on all the bits we've probably neglected a little bit last month, being so busy. Barry's kind of busy. Otherwise, I'm sure he'd love to give you an update. You may have seen this set up in the Jack and Natalie video for XMA, which I was also included in. But if not, the budget's definitely gone up. And today's end results. In Europe, we processed 10 orders with a time over 4,000 395 euros. A bit of a slower day in the UK today just for the fact that it is half time at the moment and there is a rest period between the budget dump in March and the budget renewal in April. So what we did in the UK today was 137 orders processed with a turnover of £19,986. But nevertheless, if you did enjoy the video, please do like and subscribe and comment down below anything else you want to see in the business. Anything at all. I got products, I got people, I got a lot of deals coming in and we're going some places. So if there is anywhere you would want us to visit in particular, maybe a company, a business, please leave it in the comments below and have a good one.